In the metals quadrant today, despite copper being down a little bit more than three quarters of 1%, we are off the weekly lows. We were down 1% when we were on today's lows, but we're up 3% from the weekly lows that were made earlier in the week. If you look back to the sideways channel that copper has been in since about the end of September, September 21st or so is when this channel started, we were making a series of lower lows and lower highs, and that seems to be shifting just a touch to higher highs and higher lows, but within that channel. We have not broken out of that channel, just that channel is taking sort of a curved shape up. We'll see if it breaks out. Obviously, the G20 optimism is part of that. We've got the dinner between the President of the United States and the President of China this week. And despite report, a reported willingness to make a deal on the U.S. side, it may not happen. The administration actually said that it looks like a deal may be in place, sort of a slight compromise, but the president is not really sure if he wants to do it. So that G20 optimism is kind of, it's waned a little bit in the base metals, uh, pushing copper a little bit lower today, not necessarily getting the boost that we saw in some of the other asset classes that are not only talking about the optimism with the trade dinner that's going to go on in the G20 this week, but also with Powell's comments from yesterday. Powell's comments from yesterday kind of gave the idea that we might get a little bit of a construction boom if the Fed is actually pulling back on the pace of rate hikes. Yesterday, he, he essentially the comments he made could help copper from that perspective. But then when you look at it from what he actually said, he just said we're near the neutral rate. And then sort of echoing Clarita's comments from a day ago that we have to be data dependent and watch the data, we being the Fed. So the comments by Powell could help copper, didn't do it quite today. The base metals will probably be the last one doing it be, or making a move to the upside because rates on the long end have to go a little bit lower. They haven't quite caught up to what's happened in the equity markets and the ultra short end of rates. We would need those long-term rates to fall to help housing and potentially help the copper market. Markets.